You know, I told myself last week, if this doesn't work out, I've had enough. I'm going to destroy what's left of my liver with vodka and some Russian girls, unfortunately for me. But, fortunately for you guys, the sale on that property has not gone through. The problem is, I don't have enough money. I'm currently applying for loans, and I've been doing that for the past few months. Uh, this week, I'm reaching out to some more banks. I'm following up on those applications. Uh, but I also want to see if you guys are able to help me out. And I've kept it under hush a little bit, but the property I'm actually looking at is not a farm. It's a slaughterhouse completely operating for sale in Pennsylvania. It's a bunch of older guys looking to retire. And this would allow me, as soon as I get it, to immediately start providing every cut of beef, fresh meat on a weekly basis, value-added products like sausage and jerky. They have an outside smokehouse. Uh, more affordable pasture-raised pork and chicken, all cuts of that. Really transforming my business, providing you guys with even more high-quality animal foods at an even more affordable price, and more importantly, becoming something that's actually profitable that I can then very quickly expand to a farm property and everything that I've wanted to do. You know, This isn't a matter of months or years. It's a matter of weeks if I can get the money. I'm not trying to sound like a little kid having a tantrum like, if I don't get this, I'm done, I'm over, you know, not having like a little itsy bitsy fit. The reason I was going to give up is because of how logistically difficult it is to build a slaughterhouse. Finding a location, the zoning, you know, known in the community objecting to it, the amount of time it takes, not getting crucified by a contractor, the staffing, you know, with what's going on in the world, it's basically impossible. And there's a pretty good possibility that the whole meat supply chain will collapse before I get that slaughterhouse built, compromising my current business. So I have in front of me what I consider a once in a lifetime opportunity. I've been speaking to a slaughterhouse consultant and he basically said that no one has had a customer base like mine when they've purchased a slaughterhouse, you know, already having the retail side figured out on a very large scale. So on its own, purchasing a slaughterhouse isn't really that great of an idea on your money return, but when combined with two already existing businesses, what that guy has and what I have, it's a no-brainer. It very, I don't think it's ever happened in the history of the meat business, to be honest. To put it bluntly, I need $1.5 million for the purchase of the slaughterhouse, the existing business, as well as enough operating capital to keep the business running, which is actually quite a lot, a few hundred thousand. And with what I'm currently doing, I mean, it would take me God knows how many, four, five, six, seven years to, to raise that much money. And <laughs> I'll be gone by then, boys. I'll be, I'll be lost in the Siberian forest. I will not last that long. You know, I've killed myself physically and mentally for, for the past five years working on this YouTube channel. And, and I, I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to last. You know, it's, it's with the hope of improving people's health selflessly so that they can live more enjoyable lives. And, and all that's really happened is, you know, a bunch of secret society crooks have stolen my information and probably made multiple times that amount of money for themselves. Uh, so here I'm gonna propose that if you guys really want this, you know, the highest quality, most affordable animal-based products, meat, eggs, dairy, who knows what crazy stuff I'm gonna do as well. I need some help, I need some more help. I've never done this for the money. <laughs> I'm, living, I'm losing my goddamn mind living with my parents. I'm almost 30 fucking years old. I've only tried to help other people. And as I said, I, I am ready to walk away. I will have a giant smile on my face. I mean, have the gods willed it that I spend the rest of my life freezing my balls off with a bunch of meat uh, so that everyone else's kids can grow to seven feet tall? Possibly. And for those of you that have been following from the start, you know uh, the Kickstarter scam they took our 35,000 starting funds. I was really losing it. I mean, throughout this whole process, the contractor that ripped me off for that installation, you know, my business partner being a rotten apple. It's gotten to the point that if this really doesn't happen, you know, whether I buy this business or someone else buys this business, th this is really going to be it. And, and by give up, I don't necessarily mean quit Frankie's free range meat, but you know, I would forego the future of expanding the business, the farm, the eggs, the dairy, everything you guys have wanted. I'd basically be hands off 
And as I said earlier, destroy what's left of my liver with vodka and Russian girls. Uh, because, you know, look, you have all these other secret society companies just astroturfing what I'm trying to do, except they're selling you crap products and people fall for the marketing. And because of how I am censored and, and suppressed, you know, when I make videos explaining that, no one really sees it. So I, I don't I don't really care at this point. It's too much. Look, if the majority of businesses are evil motherfuckers and everyone's against me trying to make sure I don't become successful. Fine. Look, I'll go play with your boys in dresses. I've had I've had enough. I've had enough. And, and the problem with investors and most of them are part of the, these groups of people is that they will, without a doubt, want a percentage equity in the company. And they'll also control things to the point where I won't really be able to provide a quality product to my consumers. Bigger problem with investors is they don't understand the meat business, you know, what I've built, the context of the situation. However, I have been fortunate enough to meet some very intelligent and experienced business people from an operations perspective, you know, accounting, mechanical, the meat business. You know, I have a lot of help in all aspects that I would ever need to make this truly successful. So my idea for the fundraiser was to offer you guys a long-term discount on my products for an upfront investment. Uh, these aren't exact numbers, but I was thinking like a 5% additional discount on orders for 5, 10, or 15 years based on a $2,500, $5,000, or $10,000 investment. Uh, honestly, maybe I can even do some sort of public thing with the company. As I said, guys, I'm not doing this for the money. I don't care. If, if what I do is give people a percent of the company based off their investment just to keep this going, th that might be an option as well. But you know, if you order for every week, that discount would result in roughly a double return on your money over that period of time. And another thing to consider is you know, when I do get all of these new cuts, the eggs, the dairy, all of that stuff, you know, you might be spending two to three times as much money. And I, I might even be comfortable spreading this discount to all of my businesses, not just Frankie's Free Range Meat. Of course, I'm going to put some clauses in there, have my lawyer write things up, you know, where you're obligated to receive your money back. You know, if I don't get the slaughterhouse, I'll be refunding everyone's money. If I quit the business, I'll be refunding everyone's money. You know, if you want to relinquish your discount for the initial capital back we can do something on a yearly percentage basis i'll have to work out those specific details but for now i just want to gauge interest and see if this is even possible uh, you guys can send me an email to info at frankie's free .com, and i'm basically going to see how many people want to do this and, and if i get you know a few dozen hopefully over 100 responses then what i'll do is i'll reach back out to those people i'll try to get some more legitimate stuff like some ID, some information that they're actually willing to do it. Uh, either way, in a week or two, I'll give you guys an update. Uh, for anyone curious about like GoFundMe or Kickstarter, I mean, you haven't been following this channel if you're suggesting that. Uh, I mean, if, if you want a bunch of secret society crooks to steal my money again, we can go that route. And look, I, I'm, uh, I'm not saying I'm pessimistic, but like when I asked you guys money for the lawyer stuff, <laughs> I mean, I think we got like a few hundred bucks. So look, again, uh, I'm going to try my best, try my hardest to make this happen all for you guys. If it doesn't, hey, Frankie will finally be on a beach with some Russian slash Mexican slash, I don't know, any, any race of girl. Uh, look, the point is I'm relaxing. I've had enough. Uh, I've, I've tried for the past five, six years of my life. How, how much more am I going to commit to this if everything's against me? So this is really it. You know, <laughs> whether that slaughterhouse sells to me or someone else, that that's this is I'm not gonna stick this out for five six years build my own I'm not gonna try to do this I'm probably just gonna start talking shit about every farmer and other meat business there is because I've had enough of these dog shit marketing clowns all right thank you guys for joining me today if you could please share this video above all especially I'm gonna send this out uh, with what I have of my marketing email list and uh, really push this week as well as do another video tomorrow uh, just mentioning this and showing you guys what's going on down there how I'm legitimately losing my shit uh, so thanks again, guys. Uh, go to frank to see all my businesses. Uh, the email's on the Meat website as well, info at frankiesrangemeat.com. I'll see you tomorrow.